Hey guys, it's the Con Artist, and today I'll be talking about how to stay protected and anonymous online. Now, this tutorial will range from staying anonymous from simply masking your IP address so people can't get your IP and trace you, to say if you're doing somewhat morally grey activity and you might want to keep your IP address a secret and you don't want people to know where you are. Well, I'll go through the very basics and how to do that. So. Let's get started. First of all, we'll start with a VPN. A VPN provides a secure way of connecting to websites by hiding your IP and encrypting your information. This is usually done through a virtual connections throughout the internet, and they're a great, great way to provide security. Now, rather than going into all the detail how they work, and you guys don't really want to hear that, so I'll throw some links in the description below on how uh, internet, uh, how VPNs work and also some VPN uh, websites so I'll give you uh, some paid and free VPNs to use. So let's go on to the next one. Another great way to stay anonymous and protected online is of course using proxies. Now there are two ways you can do this, you can use proxies by actually changing the proxy in which your browser goes through. So I'll throw that up on the screen now for you guys so you know this will be for each browser and yeah so that is basically how you change it and i'll give you a list of sites also where you can check out uh proxy lists to use another great way is of course using a proxy website now a proxy website basically you it gives you a search engine and you basically type in the url into that website not in the url bar but into the website and it will search that URL through the website using the website's IP address. That's also, you know, it's not the greatest way to stay protected, but it's a, it's a good way to mask your IP address for things like trolling forums or, um, yeah, basically just say you get banned from the forums, you use a proxy to get back in with a new account. Or say, you know, you can't watch a YouTube video because of the region, rock up a proxy, and you can watch the YouTube video saying that you're from Germ Germany instead of uh, Taiwan. So yeah, let's go with that. So all the information will be, again, in the description below with uh, everything you need. So next I'm going to look at the most simple to set up and the one I recommend using, which is the Tor browser. The Tor browser is works just like any other browser, just like Google Chrome, Firefox, Internet Explorer. However, Instead of using your IP address, it will hide your IP address by using the IP address of other people using the Tor browser. And this is something that you can change by the click of a button. You know, say you've used one IP address and you got banned from a forms. You click change IP address, bam, new IP address, remake a new account, log back in. It's a great way to stay anonymous online because it's really, really horrifically hard to track. And, you know, unless you're doing something incredibly illegal, incredibly bad, it's really, really hard to track and trace back to you. And a lot of the time, it's not worth it. So I recommend using the Tor browser. It's it's great. It really is great. I'll throw a link in, in the description where you can download that. And, um, yeah. So, that's basically all for today. So we looked at VPNs, proxies, and the Tor browser. I would look at SSH tunneling, but it's a lot of effort to set it up and, you know you guys probably wouldn't use it anyway because it's way too much effort to set up. Any, anyway, anyone who would use it would probably already know how to use it. So I'm not going to go bother into that. So that's all for today. I hope you guys are enlightened how to stay secure and anonymous online. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. And yeah, I'll see you next time.